by now we know how an if statement works how if else work but let us see how if else if else statement works and what is all about see normally we write if the condition is true please execute these block of statement else execute the other block of statement but we may also provide other else's and these other else's or other kind of a conditions available will be written between if and else and this other conditions are written with the help of a keyword called else if so let us see how this else if works and what are the rules to write this else if normally we write if and else statement as with the help of if keyword then the block of statement else the block of statement and else if will be written between if and else if so every if statement can have zero or more than one else statement but the else statement will come at the last that is the else statement will come following all the else if statement then and if statement can also have zero or more else if statements it means it may have zero it may have 1 2 3 as many else if statements you want to provide but all these else if statements will be written between if and else statement the last it says that an else if succeeds that is once you come to the last else if statement then none of the other else if statements would be executed it means you have executed an if statement then else if then b else if c else if so if c else if is the last else if then you will not go back up to its previous else if statements so let us understand with the help of an example but before that what is the syntax of if else if else statement it says that use a keyword if in the bracket the boolean expression if it is true then it will go check right then it will execute the other statement if the condition is not true then ideally it should go to your else block but here you have else if block that is for an example i want to travel from one destination source to another destination what i do there may be several paths available to reach to that particular destination now it's on me whether which particular path i have supposed to choose i may have path a b c d and so on i say that depending on my comfort or depending on my one of the condition i shall take one of the path it similarly follows in case of if else if else statement if the condition is true please execute the block of statement else if go check for the second condition else if go check for the third condition else if go check for the fourth condition and so on and if it does not satisfy any of the condition finally execute the block of statement that is there in else remember the last else block of statement does not contain any condition so let us understand with the help of an example program how can you use this if else if else statement we have created a class called test with the main method we have created here a variable x with the value 30 now we are trying to check if the value is equal to 10 or not if is 10 equal to 30 no therefore the first condition is not met it will go back check for the second condition and that is written with the help of else if keyword so once you write the if the condition and then the block of statements under braces close at braces provide else if keyword then in brackets you provide what is the condition to be evaluated now it checks if 30 is equal to 20 is it equal no therefore it will not execute this statement and come to the next else if block and next else if block says that if 30 is equal to 30 please execute yes here the third condition which is third else if condition is satisfied therefore the value of x 30 will be printed and all the rest of the statements if there are any more else if statements even after the condition being satisfied it will ignore them and terminate what if the value of x was 
40. It means none of the first three conditions were satisfied. Neither it was equal to 10, then 20, then 30. What it does is that it will go and execute the else statement saying that none of the conditions were satisfied. So let us just provide an output that the conditions were not satisfied and this is an else statement. So let us execute this program practically in order to better understand. In this example, we are trying to explain how does if else if works. You remember if checks for the condition, if else first checks for the condition, if not, what is the rest of the statements to be executed. But what if you want to run some additional statements or a block of statements for certain other conditions. So let us try understanding with this example where we have created a class called if else if exam. We have created a variable x holding a value of 30. The first statement that we write is if in the braces if x is equal to 10 then please print the block of statement. Else we write please print or execute this block of statement. Where do we write this else if block? Else if block is written in between if and else statement. So else if come after if block and comes before else block. You can write as many else if blocks as you want to. So we write another else if block we check if x is equal to 20 please execute these statements. If x is equal to 30 please execute these statements and you can provide n number of conditions that you want to write following the same else if the condition and block of statements. In this case we check if 30 is equal to 10 no. So this if block is terminated and not considered. Then it checks else if x is equal to 20 please print this. Is 20 equal to 30? No, it will not execute the statement. Next it goes to the next condition which is else if x equal to 30. Is 30 equal to 30? Yes. Please execute these block of statements where it will print value of x is 30 and we write this is an else if block. The last will be terminated and not to be considered or will not be checked. Let us save the program and execute to see the output. It says the value of x is 30 and this is an else if block. Let us change a little to understand how it works. Let us make a 40. So what do you think which block will be executed? Is 40 equal to 10? No. Is 40 equal to 20? No. Is 40 equal to 30? No. Then if no condition is met, please execute the else condition. This is else block and none of the conditions are met. Let us save and run this file. So it prints the last statement which is this is an else statement and none of the conditions are met. 